excited and enjoy it. And hey, this weekend is going to be absolutely great. That's a little bit of a tease there, but we do have to get through tonight and tomorrow because we're building in those clouds. Regardless, it's a pretty decent evening to get out there for a walk, maybe uh, have some dinner outside too, because so far we're nice and dry and still pretty comfortable sitting in the upper 60s and even around 70 degrees here in the Quad City sitting at 70, 68 in Muscatine, 67 Galesburg, as well as up in the Clinton area. Again, here's a look at satellite and radar. So clouds are really starting to thicken up a little bit more out there. We do have a couple of light showers going on just to our north as well as to our south and east. For the most part, I'm not really expecting too much rain to actually push in tonight. We could see a chance of a few showers, especially degrees just along the Illinois side. But this system very large down to our south is going to continue to push off to the north and into Indiana. So most of the rain, the heavier rain is going to remain into central and eastern Illinois as well as Indiana. Our rain chances not as impressive. So let's take a look at this on future track temperatures tonight with those building clouds are going to be mild. We're only going to drop just below that 50 degree mark heading into your Thursday. I think our Thursday morning commute does look fairly dry, but once we get to the afternoon, that's when we really start to track in that chance for a couple of showers to push in. And again, this is just going to be on and off showers. It's really not going to be widespread, not anything too heavy, but we keep that chance for the most part through your Thursday, Thursday night going into Friday morning. Again, a couple more rounds that we could see before we dry those guys out by Friday afternoon. And we'll bring back some sunshine again and temperatures get back into the mid 60s with some breezy winds. Now here's a look at that future track rainfall again. It's not very impressive. I think at most some of our hometowns could get just about a quarter of an inch of rain on the Illinois side or on the Iowa side excuse me, maybe only a 10th of an inch. So again, not anything too impressive. Most of the heavier stuff though continues to push well off to our east. But the weekend ahead, we will start to bring back some sunshine by Friday, but Saturday and Sunday, it's kind of a summer preview for us. We get near 80 degrees by Saturday, well into the 80s on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine and dry skies across the board. Again, definitely want to take advantage of it, get outside. Remember the sunscreen though, because it is going to be very warm and the sun is starting to get very, very strong out there. Now you want to take advantage of those dry and very nice temperatures because once we get to next week, we do see a more active pattern take place. We already are going to keep an eye out for maybe a chance for the possibility of some severe storms on Monday. We're still several days away, so we're going to take some time really over the next couple of days and into the upcoming weekend to track in the system because we could see a couple of our hometowns uh, get a little rocky with that system, but we'll keep a close eye out on it. And regardless, does look like a pretty active week next week. And we'll talk about that coming up in 30 seconds. Don't miss Shaky Graves as he performs at the Rhythm City Casino Event Center on Friday, May 10th. See the voice behind Ready or Not. Roll the bones. A world so full of love. Tomorrow, Dearly Departed, and more. Tickets are available at RhythmCityCasino.com. All right, as we get through the next couple of days, it really is going to be a nice little summer preview for us. We stay warm even going into Monday, but by Monday evening, that's when we really are starting to track in that chance for storms. So again, if it trends a little bit earlier, we could see some of that severe weather push into our hometowns. Regardless, though, we stay pretty consistent in the 70s, but pretty much seeing uh, several rounds of a possibility of showers and storms for next week. So I really think over the next eight days, again, with this warmth and the sun and the rain, everything's just going to blossom. Oh, full yeah. Full force. It's going to be